Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Alundra 2. I am Rufal, playing this game for you. Whew. Well, whether we like it or not, the only thing for us to do at the moment is to actually make our way into the Pirate Mansion. So let's abuse our the perks that we've earned and uh, go into said mansion. Is after all just up these steps. Lots and lots of steps. Hey, yay, yay! Yay! Shall we begin? <laughs> You're looking gorgeous as ever! <laughs> Ruby? Yes, Mother dear? I'd like to hear your report, please. Yes, Mother dearest? Well, see, Pop was a real jerk, and he wouldn't listen to anything I had to say. <laughs> and, and this guy's nice came and he started fighting with Pop, and he went down, and then Pop went wham! Yes, I see. In other words, you fouled up as usual and wound up investigating nothing. Am I right? <laughs> Ruby! Ruby? Yes? Come with me. Yes, ma'am. Yep, this would appear to be the... be where the pirate's boss is to be found. It also probably explains why those three seem to be... able to get away with as much as they do. Right. Oh, we'll have to find us another way in. And, uh, take note of that chest there. We'll be not seeing it later. But still got, but still collecting it. So, how do we get into the place? Well, we need to come this way. By the gazebo. You heard. Go on inside if you want. As for me, I hate it in there. It scares the heck out of me. Why would this place scare scare the heck out of anybody? It's just a it's just a shed with a hole in the ground. Speaking of, as we go down this hole, we want to be heading in this direction. Oh, that way we can land here. <laughs> Take that, snake! Those baboons are kind of a pain in the neck. Alright, now we've gotten that, let's uh, go the rest of the way down. Cut it this way first and... And deal with more of these snakes. Oh. 
And of course the jerks through the bars. Take that, punk! We aren't concerned for what they drop, but uh, we do want, want to make that chest spawn. That way it'll be there when we come in through the other door. Take that, punk! Yes, yes, I noticed. I'm not interested in the box, I'm interested in the little guy behind the box. Yes! Flint does have a shield, and he knows how to use it. Just need to... In order to actually block a projectile, you just need to be facing it directly and not, and not doing anything else. Or specifically, not moving. Little, those little green flans can't actually can't actually e hurt us. They just become smaller enemies that are more irritating to find. situation where we need to defeat all of the enemies. Including the really difficult to see ones. Let's be out. Ah. on shrooms. The shrooms are on him. One of these. Ooh. 
Oh, we're gonna have to put it down. And, uh, this is one of those bosses that is, uh, looks more intimidating than it actually is. Well, there is a big drawback. I'm not doing- the reason I'm not doing combos is because that extra hit won't register. We can only get one slap per- per charge that the boss does. though, if it hits us, it hits hard. That's grumpy now. Speeds it in. Unleashes more puffs. Other than that, nothing changed. safe way of fighting thing. It's the only way to fight it. So I guess to that end, Hope you upgraded your sword. <laughs> well, that happened. Well, let's take a moment and open up pathways. Chiefly by opening up this one. Which, of course, simply takes us back to the courtyard. Yeah, not worth too much, but it could save us time later. As for progress, yeah, we want to go this way. That's how we always hope for these for fighting these things to go. That being said, don't know why I'm bothering. We don't need to actually defeat enemies in order to progress. There is no means down from down here of opening that pathway. We just need to go this way. We want to jump over to here and claim a prize we earned a while ago. Yay! Because 
out of the one. Round up. Making all the noise. Uh, oh. Oh! Ow. Noted. Oh! Alright, Flint. Can we try and make it up the stairs? with less rock in my face. Make a running jump over that last step. I got some gin to go with this tonic. No. Nope. Alright, fine. We'll just continue on. Twenty damage seems like seems like the epitome of overkill against those guys, but uh Then again they're they're annoying enough that there's no such thing as overkill. Oh, more platforms to climb. Platforms, and in fact, more of these jumping boxes. Oh, that didn't go well. Let's try it again. It's less getting hung up on the scenery. As you might gather, we shoot the box with the pixie ring, and it will... It will jump twice. Once basic, essentially once to show us the height, and the second time to give us a chance to perform the jump. Or, you know, we can just take action right away. A likely story. <laughs> Alrighty. What else we got going on around here? Hello, sir. Being in the fireplace is tough work. Can't do it all by myself. I don't know, looks like you're doing it to me. What else we got? Hello, sir. Lady's gonna have a guest today. That's why we're on red alert. Don't wander around too much. Yep, it's red alert, but nobody's dumb enough to sneak in anyway. Huh, 
Interesting. Wait, what? Well, I understood that. Nobody's allowed to use the stairway. Nobody. Oh. Well, that's kind of annoying. Hello, ma'am. Does she, though? Well, I suppose she does the job sufficiently. <laughs> That's all this. Hmm. I think we found the wanted posters. Hello, ma'am. <laughs> so you're the reason that guy's in the punishment room. Yes. Yes, I am. Am I everything you hoped for? Hi, Kate. Alrighty. How would one move about in this lockdown? I see. How would I get into Molina's room? Ah. Hmm. All right then. How would I escape the house if I needed to? Hmm. It's a secret to everyone. Thanks, Kate. Alrighty. Well. Now to do something to make progress. Excuse me, sir. Would you do me a favor? There's a maid in the room down the hall. Go tell her I need some help with this. Okay. Excuse me, ma'am. Hey, uh, she said you'll have to ask her in person. Oh, yeah, I'd say she was livid. Yeah, yeah, you go do that. The fireplace is mine. That's he. Hello, sir. I suppose someone is on the loose. But, uh, yeah, they... These guys are here to keep us from using the stairs. There isn't actually anyone who's gonna throw us out of the mansion. Out of the mansion, though. Hello, ma'am. Ah, I see. What do you have to say? Oh, yeah? Ah. Um, I have no idea. But another news. Yeah, that's how we reach this room. <laughs> Watch your footing, ladies. Where'd he go? Ran this way. Should be around here. See a suspicious looking guy come this way? Well, I haven't seen anyone. Hmm. Um. Hello, sir. Ah, please, I'm sorry. Don't send me to the punishment room. I'll give you 50G. 
Let's just forget you ever saw me, okay? Um, no, no, please just move. Oh, come on, you're so mean. I'll give you a hundred G. How about it? I don't want your money. I want you out of my way. Why? How can you be so mean? Okay, I'll give you all I got. 103. Please. Don't tell anyone I was here. Okay, can you move now? Oh, that's unfortunate. Um. Right. I see. Well. I have to do things a little bit differently then. I swear I saw him into this room. You! See a suspicious looking overweight idiot come this way? Uh, there is one in the fireplace. Could you please remove him? Whoa! Nice job! Who ever thought? Fireplace! Hey! It's pitch dark in here! What is this soft rubbery thing? Stop! That's my stomach! I'm sorry, let me go! How'd they find me? It was the perfect hiding place! Hurry up and walk, you idiot! You're going straight to the punishment room! It's you! You told them, didn't you? Well, yeah! You wouldn't get out of my way! Get up and get a move on, Fatso! Thanks for the money, by the way. All right. Oh, let's see. The dressing room, which leads out to the veranda. And uh, remember that chest we saw earlier? Yeah, here it is. Well, with that pocketed, let's uh, head back inside. Oh, ma'am. Oh, right. You keep doing your thing. And, uh, I'm gonna call it here. Next time, we'll make our way onto the roof. In order to see gratuitous amounts of cutscenes, really. But that's a tale for next time. Later.